motor oil on my husband's favorite shirt. Uh, did you say motor oil? Can you help? I've tried these without success. Try this. Spray and Wash Max has a new and improved formula with even more stain-fighting power, making it the unbeatable pre-treater. It has resolved power to break down tough stains right in front of your eyes, better than the competition. It even outperforms the others on these dried-in stains. Impressive. Finally, this is perfect. Trust resolve power, forget stains. There's nothing more important than your family's safety. Every day, there are over 15,000 car accidents. Please take time to make sure your family is properly secured. Car accidents happen 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And 1-800-411-PAIN is there to take your call from home, hospital, or accident scene. Florida law states you're entitled to a minimum of $10,000 of injury and lost wage benefits, whether the accident was your fault or not. Remember, after 911, call 411. 1-800-411-PAIN. Why do customers love Pet Supermarket? They always have my dog's food in stock. Everything for my bird in one spot. My mom says they have low prices. They carry the heavy pails of cat litter to my car for me. Lots of toys for my dog. My pet supermarket is convenient to get in and out of. If we have a question, there's always someone here to help. They make keeping my pet healthy easy. Pet who? Pet supermarket. Claremont, Kale Raymaker, Anchors, Fox 35 News. You need to know. All right, well, the fall season begins next week, so what's a woman to wear? Amy Hitchener from Ginger Boutique in Winter Garden is here now to show us some of the hottest fall fashions. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much, Amy, and welcome to Good Day. Thanks. Thanks for having me. All right, let's get right to it because we need to see what we should be ha uh, wearing this fall and what we need to leave behind in our closets as well, right? Right. No Absolutely. linen. We've learned no linen. that already. No Definitely matter what no color linen. it is, do not sport your linen. That's All right, right, let's have your first model come on up. And who is this beautiful woman? Our first model is Whitney. Hi, Whitney. Whitney is wearing a tribal print top by Envy with jean leggings by Malibu, purple leather flats by Scarpe DM, which are not too matchy because we don't want to be too matchy matchy, right. but add just the right amount of color on her feet. She's carrying an oversized hobo bag and ivory to bring in the ivory from the top. And her accessories are all by Coralia Elite's design, which consists of a bright wrap bracelet also tying in the colors in the top, and a long necklace and cascade gold earrings. So gold the, continues the skinny to be jeans, the trend. gold continues to be the mm -hmm. trend. All right, so skinny jeans still in. Absolutely, still in. And the flats. Flats still in. Work it no matter what age group you're in, right? Absolutely. God will have comfortable shoes on. Those are very nice and love mm -hmm. the plum color. Too. You're wearing it it's as well. Color. Is Purple's plum big? big? Plum purple's big for fall. Huge. Big. All right, mm -hmm. huge. All right, let's bring the next model on up. This bag is amazing. Isn't this great? Mm -hmm. This is Brittany. Brittany's carrying one of the biggest trends of the season, which is studs, so okay. studded bags. And she's wearing, again, plum purple with gray, which is one of the other biggest colors of the season. And we've paired that again with Coralia Leeds jewelry with a little bit of purple, a black onyx ring, and we've popped a little bit of color on her feet with the apricot shoes. All right, very nice. And bring in the next beautiful young lady. Who's this? This is Kimberly. Hi, Kimberly. Hello. Kimberly she's is, working the jeans. She's working skinny jeans as well with flats, and her flats have just a little bit of studs on the back of them, which are a great way of showing the trend without being super trendy and keeping it age-appropriate. All right, so what are the textures that we need to have? The textures we want are little bits of lace, we want studs, we want draping similar to the top that I'm wearing. Um, we want textures in bags, like the crocodile bag, and textures on the shoes as well. All right, so Ginger Boutique, you're located in Winter Park. Give us the address are, quickly. We are 444 West New England Avenue in Hannibal Square. All right, Amy Hitchner mm -hmm. and beautiful ladies from Ginger Boutique in Winter Park, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Now let's check in with the always fashionable Tom Johnson. He is live in our newsroom with the headlines we're watching. Hey, Tom. Well, I appreciate that. Jackie knew this morning police are investigating a shooting that injured a man and woman overnight happened outside a Eustis home just before one this morning. Police say it looks like a drive by right now. They did find semi automatic bullet casings at the scene. They say the man was hit in the back, the woman in the leg. Both were awake when they were taken to the hospital. No word yet, though, how they're doing right now. Swine and flu are two words you may be sick of hearing at this point, but it's what a lot of people have been talking about for weeks. But is it really as bad as we're hearing, and how does it compare to seasonal flu? This morning, we're getting some answers for you. Joining us live now from Atlanta is Jonathan Sari. Good morning, Jonathan. 
Good morning, Tom. A Harvard researcher is suggesting that the death rate from H1N1 may be actually much lower than originally feared. Mark Lipsitch, his full study is yet to be published. It's still awaiting peer review, but Reuters quotes Lipsitch speaking at a conference of flu experts in Washington, D.C. recently, presenting his findings, and uh, according to his new estimates in this Reuters report, the death rate will be no worse than a moderate year of seasonal influenza and uh, according to his findings, H1N1 will be mildest in kids. Now, normally older Americans are most susceptible to seasonal flu. H1N1 seems to disproportionately affect children, but if this study turns out to be correct, it means while large numbers of children will be exposed and infected by the H1N1 virus, very few of them will die. Nevertheless, health experts are cautioning that people still need to take this virus and seasonal flu very seriously, even though the death rate uh, for seasonal flu is less than one-tenth of one percent, so many Americans get it that uh, 36,000 die, an average of 36,000 each year. So people still need to t take both viruses very seriously, but if this study turns out to be correct, some very good news that H1N1 may not be nearly as severe as originally thought. Tom. Jonathan, is there any word yet when the H1N1 uh, vaccine is going to be rolled out? Yeah, the first doses are expected to be available in early October. A limited number of people will get those, but the bulk shipments, some uh, 45 to 52 million doses expected in the middle of October. And then after that, each week, the vaccine makers are going to be producing approximately 20 million doses each week for the remainder of the year. So uh, health officials are, are optimistic that everyone who wants the vaccine will get the vaccine this fall. And that's certainly good news. Jonathan Sari live in Atlanta. Atlanta. Thanks. Time for a check on your good day forecast now with Jim Van Fleet. Hey, Jim. Hey, good morning to you, Tom. Good morning at home. Our low pressure that's been driving these afternoon storms for the last seven to ten days from Texas to the Sunshine State finally on the move as it slides from Alabama up to the mid-Atlantic. We've already got rain this morning in the panhandle, and we've got a few stray showers that have come to I-75 as well up around the Gainesville area north of Gainesville. But beautiful sunshine right now, and that should be the way most of the day goes today as temperatures are starting to warm up now 79 in Orlando 83 in Melbourne 82 in Daytona Beach your forecast will be 40% chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms in the heat of the afternoon just stray showers hit and miss here and there with a stronger concentration on the west side of the state as high as 50 and 60% for I-75 in the west but in O-Town just about 40% chance in the peak heat of the day otherwise a very lovely looking Friday Tom well, now you have your good day news and weather. Time to take you back to the studio to my favorite three ladies in television. Aww. So sweet. Good answer. He's buttering I'm us good, up. He wants something. Mm. All right, Tom, thanks. This morning, are you looking to upgrade your home? Maybe you want to redo something, do a little.